an identification video with some underground music. How can I lose? How can I lose? Everything around me broken is the hope, yeah For the people like me, cause I never could see What I really wanna be, I don't know, yeah, yeah Looking in the sky when I'm blinded Try to run away, but I'm blinded Peace of mind, I really can't find it Honestly, I really don't mind it Face to face with my anger The world we know is my anchor If we're born alone or we die alone Then I'll stay alone in my chamber All I have is this, there's no safety net So you can cast it down, so you can place your best But when the dust will clear, I'll be the only one standing This is my life, I don't think you'll understand it now So how can I lose? In a new place, I was scared and alone with a confused face. I remember when it all went down like yesterday, with everybody looking on like a news chase. I sank like a rock in the ocean, straight down at the bottom with the ghosts, and slept in the bed that I made for myself, alone in the darkness with my thoughts. It was hopeless. I'm just being honest, you wouldn't believe it even if you saw it fall from my grace and a scar from my face with a scarlet letter embroidered on it. It's a living hell. Okay, so I identified these rings, found them all in Nightmare, as you see, item level 57 off of Nightmare Traps. Now, before I show my gear, I did actually use, at the beginning of, like, 30-ish around these rings, were actually found with a six-socketed isted crystal sword with 180 mf to increase my mf which i will bring in to show you what my mf used to be give me a second because those gloves i think i'm wearing uh yeah these gloves are not my original gloves those are in here right here this was my original MF setup right here I'm gonna show my gear in a second I was originally running not 500 no whoa wait forgot a ring I didn't have this one and let's see I had a 30 noggle in here somewhere because I actually have it on my sork I'll just drop it from my sork. Okay. Now, let's see. 121-ish. Eh. 621 MF setup. So, as you see, the 180 crystal MF there. I was running these for the 20 FCR. A 30 noggle with 118 in the image, arachnid mesh. For the tw one skill, the 20 FCR, a BK ring for the life increase, because I need my life. An instant shit go. A perfect gambled myself 50 magic fine amulet. <clears throat> the hardest amulet to actually gamble in the game is 50 MF. 
self plow knees um, on a, I had them on a mule for a while I'm using a 30 FCR spirit instead of a 4 isted they have more MF I got a 28 spirit on switch with a 5BO CTA I'm using 40 MF geeds 1, 2, 3, 4 lightning skillers random MFSCs as you see um on the top part I believe only these ones here are mainly yeah like these right here are the only ones that are variations uh, I keep a slot open so I always put the rings over here these are rare jewels this is how many jewels I found out of finding all 40 of the rings okay let's see more MF, 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 MF. As you see, right there, a 20 statter and a 17 statter who have my stats here. Now, my damage without BO. Let's see what my BO total is on this setup. Okay, 4 to 16 on this setup. Now, remind you I switched out for an SOJ because I needed more increased mana. A Hodo, Ethero because, you know, I don't really, doesn't lose durability because I'm not swinging with it. So, now, I lose some MF, yes. I can increase my MF, but I choose not to really try to increase it that much because I don't want the gold, extra gold, is why I have him right now. Oh! On this private server, yes, I said private server, mercs can wear these kind of things. When they're not really supposed to. And yes, I recently found him these bad boys. Last night, before the server did its daily reset, I'm actually trying to find him an Ethereal 50, which is very actually hard. Now, if I really cared for gold, I would use it. Uh, these on him, if he's getting the kill, because it only affects him, not me. Uh, I'm sorry, I'm one of those people that believe the more gold find you have, the less the chances of you getting good god drops. I found this uh, recently. That one I found. These are actually what his gloves were before I switched them over for MF. So, my Sork, for this Sork anyways, 411 MF around, or even at 600 and something MF, in Nightmare, even by a switchable weapon, 591 is very so much good. I'm not going to say it's the greatest MF for a Nightmare, if Trav's on. Um, all I use this for character for is nightmare traps. Nothing else. I can easily go like this. Switch that and I'll lose life. But whatever. If I want the mana, you know. Or vice versa. But I prefer this way. So I have the extra gold very low on my end what 411 mf is how i actually found my as you see two sjs here now 57 level 
you know, it's Nightmare Trap. You don't believe me, look it up. Even on this private server, it's the same as... Battle Nets for item level wise. Um, drops rate are a little bit increased. Um, gambles are the same as Battle Net and Pluggy. So the odds of rolling this was very hard. Um, our gold actually doesn't hit that number. It's 33,000 and some odd. Some odd, I forgot what number. I think I have a character max out on gold. I think I can double check later on if you want to know. Um, right now I'm doing, as you notice in my last video, probably doing a side projects of different videos. Um, I'm probably gonna do another video of this in another day or two. I need more rings with these two SOJs still here. These I'm just going to drop down because I don't need them. You know, if I need something here that I might like, I might, you know, keep it, might not, um, depending. <clears throat> like, right now, I'm also in the works of 100 Monarch Shields. To make 100 spirit monarchs for this private server. Um, this, I'm also in the works for Pluggy of doing crafted uh, blood rings, amulets, getting all the materials back up because. I actually forgot. I have no more of the runes for the materials, so I gotta farm up the soul runes. I got mainly most of the jewels. I mean, it's as I find them, if I need extra, I have them. Uh, <clears throat> so that's not a problem. Drop that, I'll drop that, I'll drop that. Pick them up. There we go. So this stork is pretty decent, as you see. I mean, it's not the greatest MF character I have. Um... Let me see. Let me look at my other sorts MF right now. Oh, forgot her uh, Nagel ring. I'll tell you. Let's see. She's got 514 MF, 6 through 36k lightning damage, and she's not even BO'd. Her FCR uh, at this moment is 85 even on the switch uh which is very low but anyways if i wanted to i could use her do more damage with a little bit higher mf but in nightmare it's not really worth it <clears throat> for me because she's got a 10 fcr ring with six life stolen per hit five the strength 17 the life 10 resist all nine mf crafted ring <coughs> with a noggle ring a perfect mf war traps uh a 35 uh, fcr spirit with 111 mana five magic absorb which actually pretty low but i'm trying to roll that 35 112 8 absorb and any of the monarchs i do get i'm using item level 99 mage fist uh item level 99 arachnid item level 85 war traps okay 87 on the monarch 87 on my uh 772 defense Archon plate 
Enigma. I don't think this has a base ED. Oh, yes, it, it does. It has a base ED of 14. So it's not a 100% perfect ED. Item level 99, Shaco, which is perfect. And Isted, I self found this one. Uh, my 664BO, item level 85, Flail. Self rolled. One time out of that, got lucky. Uh, my 35 FCR on Switch, Shake a Spirit, with 110 mana and 3 to magic absorb. Um, my emulate is a perfect Mara's item level 85, if you really want to know. Item level 95, GC, 94, and... These are the two highest ones I have for Lightning Skillers, a 30 on the 95, and a 23 on 94, and item level 68, 16 life, Lightning Skiller, 13 life, Lightning Skiller, item level 81, a uh, 2... Same GCs, different item levels, okay. 81 and 83 item level, 5 dexterity, lightning GC. A 1, a 2, a 3, plain lightning skillers, 84, 81, 81, a 40 MF geeds, 13 vendor, 99 extra gold. One, let's see, uh, eight, do you, item level 84, 7 MF, small charm, 17 mana, 6 MF, small charm, 7 MF, small charm, a 6 MF with 11 uh, attack rating, 17 mana, SC clean, a lightning resist, 3, a 5 MF, light. Uh, 7 MF SC, another one. Uh, 16 mana, 7 MF SC. I recently found that one. Uh, 17 mana. A 2018 Sork Torque. That I paid an arm and a leg for. 17 mana SC. 7 M MF SC. A 17 mana small charm with fire damage, which is pointless on it. A 15 life, 17 mana small charm, very nice find of mine. A 17 mana with 2 dexterity small charm, another 17 mana small charm, and a 2018-10 Annie that matches my sword torque. I believe I went over everything. Oh, Merc Gear. Infinity Cryptic Axe, uh, level... Minus 52 enemies resist 308 enhanced damage is not a enhanced damage base at all. Uh, neither is my secret armor fortitude, which has 132 life total, it shows, and 30 resist. Okay, this one I have to see what jewels in here. Hold on one second. Okay. In this helm, I have a 10 life leech, ethereal, and Dario's visage. Now, the helm, a little varies than regular battle night, you know. It has <clears throat> a 15 IS with a 30 fire resist jewel in it. But, unlike Battle.net, we have ours that gives fire resist. Doesn't minus. And it's 137 enhanced defense, 28 to strength, 5 resist of fire base itself. That's why I had to see the jewel in it. Now, it is a total of 35 fire resist, is what I want to know. I didn't know there was a 15 IS in it. I thought it already came with IS. 
but the IS base on it is 20 not 35 so I should have knew but wasn't really paying attention because it doesn't say bonus okay he's wearing a high lords amulet with ethereal gore riders that are 288 defense rolled perfect enhanced defense on them but the perfect roll on these for defense i believe is 316 or 318 i gotta double check that a very nice ethereal for dungos which has 48 to vitality 13 to replenish life damage reduced by 15 the maximum stamina is 106 and the enhanced defense is 97 he's wearing a 250 attack rating 20 dexterity raven frost ring and last but not least ethereal drackles so this Merc over here is a lot better than the one I recently just showed you as I'm rocking this one over here is rocking a 17 meditation aura with 213 enhanced damage and 238 to attack rating 3 to critical strike meditation of insight 40 MF chances, a carry on wind ring with 9 life stone per hit and 120 on that part. Been looking for a perfect. I've gotten close. Arachnid mesh, just because I put it on him. Ether war uh, traps, as I recently said, because just found them. Um, Self rolled, no enhanced defense. I don't think nope okay G face um, recently found that a couple days ago before I started this project in cows I did it was like okay I need that so I'll give it to another Merc I know I should socket it maybe put an um rune in there or maybe I'll put an ist rune in there for that extra 25 mf which will make my mf go up a little bit more not much more but, I mean, then again, most of the times I'm getting the last kill, not him. The only time his, I let him get the last kill is if I really want the extra drops. This is how much gold I've recently made from selling all the at least 30,000 item range items in hell, getting most of this gold. Um, very few was started for myself from the last time I played this character. But thank you, ladies and gentlemen. Like this video, maybe subscribe to my noobish channel because, you know, since I am a noob, not really, but just, you know, throwing out there, maybe you would like to hit that subscribe button. Maybe follow, like the video, maybe hate the video because I talk so much for an identification video of rare, I mean, unique rings from item level 57 off of Nightmare Traps. Um, like I said, I got a video for Spirit Monarchs coming. I have videos for Crafted, Crafted on the Pluggy Mod. And also, I'm working on getting sh Monarch Shields for Socketed or not Socketed for Pluggy. So I can do, wait for it, not 100 Spirit Monarchs. No, 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 no. No, not 100. But 150 Spirit Monarchs for Pluggy or... I am going to roll 250 Spirit Monarchs. I haven't made up my mind what I want to go with. Uh, 150 or 250. 
uh, rolls to see if I can roll that perfect Spirit Monarch. I have had a pretty close to perfect Spirit Monarch, but it's not a 100% close. I mean, yes, maybe the Magic Absorb is not perfect, but, I mean, it's got the 35 FCR, the 100, I think, 11 mana, and 3. So it's like, just one off, and then you got the, yeah. But I want to see how long it's, if it's possible, out of 250 rolls per pluggy to roll. That 100% spirit monarch. And it doesn't have to be in a perfect base. Even the base does not divide how much value the item has. It could be in a 1515 monarch all at once. Doesn't mean it's worth more. Some people think it does. Guess what? It just means higher defense. Same stat mods, but it doesn't really have any more value you, besides the defense part. Certain people on Diablo 2 don't think this way, don't like that, but like I said, this is enough rambling. You might want to hear more rambling. Make sure you like the video, subscribe today. I'm still on that 1k worldwide of subscribers and also you might like to see some of my older videos go check them out watch how much of a noob I am there too thank you for watching